Okay, for the rest of it here. I'm going to select this, move it over, copy, paste, line it up. Now, the reason why the image looks a little odd is because it's on top of the last frame. Once again, you do not want to click on the image until you've given it its own layer. Okay, layer, transparency, remove alpha channel. Now you see that turns it transparent or translucent, whatever. It doesn't let you see through it. Green pen, fix up his hair, get rid of this. Now you might be asking why I'm using a green pen. It's because when you upload it into uh, Sony Vegas Pro later, you can actually use uh, chroma keying to cancel out the green. And I'll explain what chroma keying is later. Layer. Layer to image size. Don't worry about getting messy with the green pen unless it overlaps the image you actually want. Now, bucket fill tool it's nothing but the image and the occasional rogue sprite <laughs> now this looks kinda weird but in the end you won't really notice it because it'll be moving a little too fast go into filters animation and playback you go into a step-by-step -step preview of what the animation is going to look like. That is what you're going to see when you're done with the image. Exit that, click File, Save As, wait for it to load, they would be nice. Okay, Luke, Skywalker Light Saber Barrage dot GIF Hit Save Save as Animation Exp Now this right here is the only thing you're probably going to be messing with the most the delay between frames were unspecified that basically tells it how much uh, time there will be between frames. Uh, just for uh, just for example, sake, I'm going to leave it at 130 milliseconds and save. I'm going to go in and um, should be at the very bottom of the list. Okay, here it is. As you can see, I've created a an image of Luke Skywalker just going crazy with the lightsaber. Okay, here we are in Sony Vegas Pro 8. Here's the files I'm going to be using. Luke Skywalker lightsaber barrage and the Star Wars logo. Now, the first thing you want to do is drag them into separate layers of the timeline. Stress out so it meet, meets the edge of the other one. Now, right now, you can't see the logo through the animation. I'm going to fix that. Go into EventX, Chroma Keyer, Add, OK. Come over here, 
select the eyedropper tool select the green part and as you can see the green part has vanished exit out of event effects it's already at the beginning of the timeline and I'll go ahead and show you the result the green has been completely removed by the chroma here I hope you learned something from this and I thank you for watching